Well, it started snowing in Michigan way too soon. So I had to stop everything, get my snowblower out of storage, and I found out it's missing a knob that holds the chute in place. And it's not a standard knob. It's got a nut embedded inside the plastic. So this isn't something I can just go easily pick up. So I'm going to show you how a new feature in the DaVinci software allows me to stop a print, insert a nut, and then finish the print. And I'm going to use that to make a new knob for my snowblower. So I took the one knob that I had, placed it in the center of my scanner, and scanned it in. I left the top uncovered. It seemed to scan better that way. I open the file on my Mac in Preview. It has a Instant Alpha tool that allows me to get rid of the background and make this a transparent image. But I have to carefully go around it and trim any excess pieces. It's just a slow and tedious process, but once you get it done, it looks pretty good. So here's the finished file. It's a transparency.png file. So then I load that into an online PNG to SVG converter. And here the file I loaded was the snowblower.png, which is that picture. And I made the size 1000 by 1000 pixels. Then I made it in monochrome. And I did a dots per inch of 1000. Now these numbers were just arbitrary, but they worked. The next step was to open Tinkercad. And then on the import menu, I loaded that snowblower.svg file and set the scale at 10% and height 10 millimeters and it brought in this big object. So I took the dimensions off the knob that I scanned and resized that big block to this one. It was 43 millimeters tall, 17 millimeters wide, and 13.5 millimeters thick. And then on top of that, I put a hole that went all the way through it, a seven millimeter hole. So it was bigger than the bolt I was going to use. And I made it 20 millimeters tall. So it went through the, both the top and the bottom. So I made sure it went all the way through. Then I placed a tube element on top to match the original. I made it 16 millimeters in diameter and two millimeters tall. Then I added little knobs on top for grip, but I made them too small. So they were useless. And then I copy and pasted a nut from a previous project. This was from the race car, toy race car I made in a previous video. I sized it to slightly larger than the nut I had, and I filled it in solid. Now here's the trick to all this. I made the knob a hole only because it allows me to see the nut inside of it. So I can position the nut, and then when I'm done, I can reverse it. I can make the nut a hole and make the knob a solid. To line everything up, I selected all the pieces. Then I clicked on the Align tool, and then I aligned it in the X and Y direction so everything was centered around that hole that went from the bottom to the top, which will be where the bolt will go through. So once that was aligned, now I could reverse the process and make the nut a hole and the knob a solid. But I couldn't get at the nut, so I had to drop the knob just far enough so I could touch the bolt or the nut. And then I made the nut into a hole and then turned the knob into a solid and then brought the knob back up to its original position.
So once everything is in place, well, hold on, let's get rid of this import. We don't need that anymore. So once everything is in place, I can group it all together into one solid object. And then I'll go to the design menu and select STL file to create the .stl file that I will load into the XYZware. So I open the file and then I needed to reposition it so it was easier to reach when I want to insert the nut. So I turned it 90 degrees and then I moved it more towards the front of the platform. And then I clicked on the export menu to set it up. And I only did a 30% fill, which was fine for this uh, example, and a 0.3 layer height. Everything else I left standard, no supports, no raft, and I clicked export. Now this only took about 18 seconds to slice, so it was pretty quick. Everything looked good, so I sent it to my DaVinci printer. So now it was time to insert the nut. And you do that by clicking on the OK button, and then the pause selection, and then say yes. And then the head, the extruder head, will move out of the way, and it'll give you three minutes. Otherwise, it'll cancel. So I then inserted the nut. I probably should have made the hole a little bit bigger, because I had to force it just a little bit. But I pushed it down inside, unscrewed the bolt, and then I had the nut in place. So then I could resume the print. So I clicked on resume, yes, and the print finished. It printed the round disc right on top of the nut. So that sealed the nut in place. Okay, so the print is done. So now I can pull it out and I can test it with the bolt. And it looks pretty good. The shape is well done. I got a little bit of extra plastic here that can just be cut off. But I can see the, the nut there and, and It works nice. When we'll compare it to the original, they're the same size. So there you go. Now I just need to put this on the snowblower. Okay, so we're ready to install it. I'll slip a bolt through the hole. Add a washer, install the new knob, tighten them both up, and I'm in business. So there you have it. That's how you can do metal inserts on your DaVinci 3D printer. So if you like this video, check out some of my other videos. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. That way YouTube knows you liked it. Now if I could only figure out how to print something that melts that snow. God, I hate snow. See you next time.